Sisters, brothers, salam alaikum. First, let me say what a privilege it is to stand up here alongside so many people I deeply admire, uh, to Sheikh uh, Yusuf and Idris, uh, my brother, Indigenous Pastor Ray Minicon, Bishop John, Father Jim, my dear brother Nader, and of course our, our beloved Sheikh. It is unfortunate that it has taken such a painful situation to bring all of us together. And yet we must acknowledge that we are very different people from very different backgrounds. We represent different faiths, different cultures, different heritages. Some of us here are European Australians, some here are Indigenous Australians, many are Lebanese Australians or persons from other Arabic countries, and at least a handful here are Persian Australians coming to this country. And yet all of us here are Australians, and all of us here are deeply concerned about what is going on in our Australian community. Something very disturbing has been happening in our country in recent years, such that ordinary Australian people can now be taken from their families, detained, imprisoned and deported without ever being told what they have done. In the name of national security, it seems that many persons, especially visitors to our shores, have lost their right to a fair trial. In order to protect our democracy, it seems we have sacrificed some of the fundamental human rights that make our democracy worth protecting. The case of our brother, Sheikh Mansour, is not just the case of a good man being mistakenly assessed as a security risk, though it is that. It is, it is not just a case of a community being deprived of its spiritual leader without good reason, though it is that too. It is, though, moreover, a case of a man who has been denied the right to a fair trial, a man who has been denied one of his fundamental human rights, a right that should not be denied to anybody in this country, regardless of race or religion, regardless of whether they are black, white, European, indigenous, Arabic or Persian. What we see happening to our dear brother is not only a potential tragedy for our community, but something that shames our country, a country that has always upheld the right that everybody is entitled to a fair go. And so we do want to call upon the Minister for Immigration, Mr Evans, as we do want to call upon the Attorney General, Mr McClellan, as I want to call upon my Christian brothers, Mr Rudd and Mr Abbott, to take a good look at what is going on here. For what we see here happening to our brother, Sheikh Mansour, is not just an act of injustice as against a good man, but rather something that indicate, indicates a deep level of malaise within our society and something that threatens all that we hold dear in the Australian way of life. We are very different people. Some of us are Christians, most of us are Muslims. Some here will be from other faiths, perhaps some here have no faith in particular. Yet all of us are here today in our common love of this country, in our common concern for our community, in our common commitment to justice, and our common love for our beloved brother Sheikh Mansour. And so we want to raise our voices together here today in respectful cries of protest as we raise our prayers here together today, asking that the Almighty might see to it that justice is done. We will continue to cry as we will continue to pray. And if we have to write letters, then we will write letters. And if we have to sign petitions, then we will sign petitions. And if we have to march to Africa, then we'll do that too. We will do whatever it takes to have our voices heard because we are all Australians here. We're not asking for any special favours. We are simply asking that these values that are fundamental to our Australian society be upheld that our brother, Shaq Mansour, will not be able to fair go.
und so weiter. But the good side of my story that I always am grateful to God is that the same issue of national security has brought us together. Look at this gathering today. Has united the community. Has made us celebrate our holiday and holiday to play together, to pray together, to eat together, to get to know one another, and that is marvelous. To me, this is one of the beautiful signs that I can see the miracle of God that He does it in a mysterious way. And I'm sure that with this type of support, when I've always said to my friends, when all of us we get together, raise our hands, irrespective of that, the background that we have, justice eventually will prevail. Thank you very much to all of you for your support. May God bless all of you. In particular, I would like to thank all the volunteers, not only for this barbecue to arrange barbecue for such a big gathering, you appreciate that it's not an easy job. Since the beginning of this campaign, the community has been strongly supportive and as it has been going further, the support has been only uh, increasing. Thank you very much, especially to Father Dave, my twin brother. We have so many similarities in between and I really can have no word to, to express my, my feelings to this uh, uh, dear friend and brother. I don't know if I was in his shoes, if I would do that, I hope. He never get in these situations that I need to reciprocate it. <laughs> However, my, my prayer is with you, Father Dave, and I believe one of the young girls has prepared a gift for Father Dave on behalf of the community. Zakir, do you want to come forward? Stay with my hand.